We'll just start from scratch. Sure. Okay. Okay. We're back on the record, or we'll go back, we'll pretend. We're now on the record on the matter of McCoy versus Fleming, MIDL 2860 20. I apologize for the computer issue, so we'll start again with your appearances, please, Counsel. Yes, Your Honor. Once again, Daryl Kipnis for the plaintiff, Juanita McCoy. Okay. Bill Craig, uh, RAY, Cooper Healy on behalf of Defendant Glenn Fleming. Thank you. Frank Fusco, Law Offices of Frank Fusco on behalf of Defendant Reginald Johnson. All right. And so, as I said previously, this matter was called in for trial today, number 30 on our trial list. Uh, my understanding is after the parties have now had the better part of the day, it's almost 2.30. Um, you guys have been here since 9 o'clock. You've had an opportunity to obviously continue to confer and negotiate and discuss uh, the merits of this matter and uh, a possible resolution. My understanding is that the parties have uh, taken advantage of that opportunity and uh, essentially after uh, discussing this matter um, uh, and spending, as I said, the better part of the day with one another, you have reached a settlement in this case. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Kipnis? Yes, sir. Okay. Are we going to place the terms on the record today? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll hear from you. Uh, I think Mr. Ray wanted to see the other Whoever side. wants to do it, that's fine. Mr. Ray? Sure. <laughs> yeah, as long as we're all good. Go ahead, Mr. Okay. Ray. Okay. So, uh, monetary terms of the settlement are uh, 15000 is to be payable to uh, plaintiff. That'll be within 45 uh, days of today, uh, pending a, um, an agreement on a long term settlement, which is going to be forthcoming. The um, Summit will include confidentiality agreements, a general release, and a uh, no, no admissions clause uh, in it. Um, and that's it. Okay. Anything you want to add, counsel? Yes, Your Honor. As to defendant Reginald Johnson, Mr. Johnson's not paying any money. Uh, Mr. Kipnis will be executing a stipulation of dismissal with prejudice as to Reginald Johnson. Yes, without, without cost tax. Yes, without cost tax. Okay. Mr. So, Kipnis, anything you want to add? Yes. The, the only concern is because the claims involved uh, sexual uh, harassment or abuse, I had a concern whether the 2019 amendments regarding confidentiality agreements and settlements apply to this case. My understanding is that's typically in the context of employment-related claims. This is not an employment-related claim, um, but I had some concern whether that, whether that applied to some degree here. Okay. Mr. Wright? Yeah, I, I, even if it does apply, we'll be happy to put in the little clause that the, um, the statute um, requires you to put in there. Um, I, I don't see any issues, but I, I do not think it applies. But okay, well, yeah. And confidential I'm, to the extent permissible by law. Understood, so. understood. Yeah, I would agree. That's fine. Uh, uh, and again, I'll leave that. I'm not going to give you a, a ruling on that today. That issue is not squarely before me. No. Um, we'll leave that to the parties, hopefully, as you're exchanging and, and hopefully executing your closing documents, uh, you can you can work that out right. um, with the necessary language. Yeah. Um, so everyone agrees, right? This is a full and final settlement. We're going to dismiss the matter today, conditioned upon you signing up, but, but settled and dismissed with prejudice. Yes, can we work? Okay. Yes, sir. All right, great. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Judge. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you.